Anderson's TV. Uh, yes. I am joined today by the King of Loops, Mr. Danish Pete Looper from King. Uh, Holland. Oh, yeah, the no, Looper King. Straight Absolutely. from uh, in from uh, uh, Basel in 100%. Uh, <laughs> Basel in uh, um, near Brussels. Switzerland. Yeah. Anyway, please like and subscribe if you're into your guitar gear. Uh, if you're lucky to be pulled out of the hat when we hit a million subscribers, you will win a genuine uh, Klon Centaur pedal. Anyway, what are we looking at today, Mr. Pete? Well, some new stuff from uh, the good people at Boss. Boss. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, a cube. Is, uh, uh, the cube is a legendary amp, man. It is a legendary amp. I had the little leather-bound orange one. What was that called? Do you remember them? Cube, a leather-bound uh, orange it was a one. Wow. Well, it had, it had like leather, orange leather on. Do you Did remember it? those ones? No. The little, what was that called, Matt? Come on, you must remember. Cube. It's a little cube, rolling cube. Yes. But like that, and there was like In orange, orange leather. In, yeah. I'm sure I'm it's orange sure. leather. With matching lederhosen. Yeah. Is that because you're, is that the Dutch bit of you? Yeah, basically? that's the Dutch bit of <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, the orange but, leather yeah. amplified to so go So when we go yodeling, uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm playing bass today, a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, <laughs> you know, no. putting the uh, G-R-O-O-V-E into the groove. Um, two amplifiers yes. uh, from Boss's super popular Cube range. Now, I, there are so many little amplifiers from Boss in this price sort of bracket or in this family, I thought I'd write them down so that I sort of understood where this sits. So Cube is a different family to Katana. Right? Okay, yeah. There's quite a lot of price overlap. Um, so Cube has typically been more of a busking kind of thing, mm -hmm. the yeah. kind of thing that you might be able to plug a variety of instruments into, uh, whereas Katana has been more of a um, dedicated guitar amp kind of thing, albeit they've done Katana bass recently. But yes, yeah. so think of Cube as like the Cube 10, tiny little thing, yeah. 10 watts mains only, pretty old fashioned amplifier now. Street Cube's been crazy popular. That's one with the sort it's of angled front. The angled front, uh, yeah. Great for busking, all that kind of stuff. Microcube is now finished. So Microcube would have been the smallest one of those. Uh, alongside that. all that, you've got Katana Mini, Katana Air, Katana 50, 100, all that kind of stuff. So this is Dual Cube. Dual Cube. Can I just ask a question? These used to be uh, Roland branded, right? Or is that Cubes a, is used it? to be. Yeah. Yes. And I think that just confused everybody yeah, because Boss, confused me too. For, you know, for like a million years, has been the guitar-focused brand of the Roland Corporation. Yeah. But for some strange reason, must have something to do with like the Roland Jazz Chorus. They've sort of had some sense that amps for a long time were still Roland brand. It can never be the, it can never be anyway, the Boss Jazz Chorus, can it? Probably not, no. But anyway, so this is Boss Dual yeah. Cube. Battery. And we've got uh, LX... Uh, Guitar and bass LX for bass. What does LX stand for? I knew you were going to ask that, yeah. and it's entirely up to you to decide. Comment below whatever you think LX stands for, because I don't Do think Dallas, anybody knows. Alexis, yes. What oh, was it? Anyway. Alexa. 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 Don't. Let's say that now. Alexa, play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what should we fart. do so in your video? Alexa, play a fart noise. Right. So, um, 
what you heard at the beginning there was us using the looper that is yeah. built into the um, both amplifiers actually, but we were using this one. Mm -hmm. I was just jamming along yeah. on here. I might do some bass loop. The bass loop, foot switch, which is an optional extra, allows you to do things like trigger uh, the looper and switch between um, preset memory locations yeah. on the Super amplifier. Super cool. Super cool. Um, I love these. I think the main stuff that we really need to go through on here, should we do features or tones first? Let's just do a quick run through of features. Do it. All right. So not necessarily in order of importance, but just in order of, of the panel here. The first thing that you'll notice is it has a stereo left and right in. Now, that's quite unusual on yeah. uh, a little micro amplifier. The angle for this, though, is if you've got a multi effects unit like, um, you know, Boss would hope you've got some sort of GT1000 or GT Core, but you know, you could have any of the brands of, of little um, yeah, yeah. effects unit, and you want to be able to plug the stereo output, the left and right output of your uh, multi effects unit into a single amplifier and still yeah. get stereo through the little speakers in here. You can do that. Nice. Pete, as you can see from the overhead camera, is just using uh, a mono input, normal. Mm -hmm. Then you've got amp types acoustic clean all the way through to uh, the high gain stacks and extreme and all that kind of stuff. And the mic one on the side Microphone there. settings, acoustic settings. These are not the Katana models. These are the Cube models. Okay. So um, I guess, I don't know, I think it's difficult to get boss to sort of say which one is better as such you know they're just oh, different. obviously just made for the for the amp, um i can imagine the uh you have various memory locations here so we've got um panel mode so with the light off wherever the settings are is the sound i get then you've got a green red and yellow memory location gain Stop. volume bass metal treble obviously uh, you can see the effects that you can wind in from here. So you've got chorus, flanger, phaser, and octave by the looks of things. Mm -hmm. And tap in addition tempo. to that, uh, reverb and uh, delay, again yeah. with a tap tempo. Yep. Uh, looper built in. Now the looper, um, you can only trigger if you've got the effects pedal. There's no, no button on the panel to, to trigger it. There's this amazing little um, headset microphone input that, and again, if you use that in conjunction with the, there's a mini TRS jack on the out on the back here, so you can record or even live stream into your. I was phone just going to say with, into the phone. Yeah, with a with a mini with a headset. headset microphone on you playing guitar, everything coming out the phone. Or can you put time. that in like lightning port in a in a? I believe so. You get you get the little TRS mini TRS to lightning. Really? Cable. Yep. Uh, Master volume on the very Live end. on Instagram. Uh, yeah. That's on the, awesome. On the back, we've got, uh, we'll have to show you this probably on a separate camera yes. if I just pull this forward here. So on the back, we've got that um, loop back feature that I just mentioned. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the one that's that you go awesome. through your phone. What a great idea. Uh, stereo line outputs. So again, you could conceivably take this to a rehearsal or a little gig or something like that. Use this to uh, go into your mixing desk with and then just use the amp as a monitor. It'll be way too loud for the sound guy. He's going to go, turn that down. <laughs> uh, foot switch input. <laughs> Bluetooth is quite a lot of the Boss products at the moment have got this optional uh, sort of plug-in thing that you put in yeah. to enable the Bluetooth. So if you opt to buy that, Bluetooth allows you to, oh, look at that, as if by magic, uh, it came in. Bluetooth allows you to stream audio from a phone to come out through here. Oh, that's the uh, one in there, yeah. Okay. Or to use uh, the app via Bluetooth. Uh, finally, USB, which again, you can record out of or trigger the app from, and the app allows you to do a bit of deep editing. Uh, and then, yeah, it's mains powered or battery powered. And I'm just looking for a nod that it comes with its mains supply. It does, it comes with the mains adapter or you can use batteries. So. But isn't, uh, they are AA batteries, right? I think they're RAC. I mean, other good roadside recovery services do exist. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, anyway, let's have some, let's have a listen. So I'm gonna set this up in its panel mode and I'm gonna just put all the EQ flat and just have a little bit of reverb. Oh. And then we're gonna just go through the various ones. So the acoustic simulator will oh. make Pete's guitar like, sound like an acoustic. I can't play more of that then. No, you can't. Come closer. No, it's fine. Right, then we got some uh, 
uh, Roland's most famous guitar sounds, ever, Jazz Chorus Clean. That, that here. sounded great, though. It did sound good, it? yeah. That sounds do you know great. What? Do you know the what? Of course, nice. what am I doing? I've got to turn chorus on, haven't I? For the jazz yeah. chorus. Yeah, it seems to see you won. Yeah, if you watch the video that uh, um, Mason did with the uh, US, yeah, fantastic, next one, know. US combo, uh, which will be a little Fender Deluxe type thing. Maybe a bit too much reverb, but I know what you like. Sounds nice, man. Brit combo, which is usually a little voxy kind of sounding thing. Great. Could, could be a Marshall, could be a Vox, who knows? We just know it's Brit. Uh, high guitar, gain nice. stack. Metal stack. Oh. Then, of course, uh, extreme mode for all your Nuno Bet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Not the anyway, for it. And then the final one is is uh, oh no, it's the, sorry. Then you've got a microphone input. So basically, that um, changes the uh, input gain on the uh, on the on the input to match a microphone. Yeah. And then finally, stereo in, which is just your flat response. That's if you want to use one of your that's you know, great guitar effects. That sounds really good, man. What's clever about this is it's kind of taking a little bit of a leaf out of things like Katana Air or Yamaha THR or whatever, where the two speakers in here are, have got quite a lot of stereo processing on yeah. them. So even on simple sounds with not too much uh, of an effect on them, you're you're creating that uh, sense that the amp is bigger than it actually really is. Uh, that's what I try to do every time. Well, there is that, you know, absolutely. You need that for need your that for, home life. For lots of things. Um, <laughs> let's, go, let's go to a clean sound and just quickly uh, put some of the effects on just so you can kind of get an it idea. It never works so, though, it's weird, isn't uh, it? Chorus. Flanger. Phaser. My personal favorite, heavy octave. And then finally, <laughs> you've got the choice of delay or reverb. If you, you'll see, as soon as I select the delay mode, the tap tempo lights up. If I want that slower, i just tap it slower. Have still got the octave on that? I have, apologies, yeah, turn that off. So, find some sounds that you like in there, add effects, do whatever you Sounds like. That's great. Uh, you can choose to store that in one of the sort of green, yellow, or red mm -hmm. memory modes. And that, that, um, then you can store that as the yeah. two, if two settings on your... If you're familiar with you know, Boss products from the last 
you know, probably 10 years or so, you'll be familiar with this concept that, you know, you can edit, you've got deeper editing via the app. So deep. deep. Um, so that, uh, we're not going to demonstrate the headset because uh, Pete's got a um, clause in his contract that we can't dress him up like Britney Spears. And go live, um, in, not at the same time. Not at the same time. The looper we should demo though. Yeah, yeah. There are a I couple will. of Maybe. pedals in the Boss range that will work with this amplifier. The yeah. FS5 has one switch and is a, is a cheaper alternative to this. And you can make that either do the looper um, mode. Do a looper. Do a, do, yeah, you can either put that in Dua Lipa mode, do, do the looper mode, um, or wow. uh, you can have it to toggle between your favorite uh, preset patches, yeah. uh, or I believe turn an effect on and off. If you've got the FS6 with the two buttons on it, it's essentially, you can have two things. It can do the looper. And the FS7 and, as well is the same, right? I don't know what an FS7 yeah. does. Yeah, this is this that three here. pedals? No, look, the FS7 is a, um, it's just a smaller, compact version of oh, the... Is that new? I don't even know. No, it's not that. new. So this is like a compact version of an FS6, is it? Yeah, so that so you have a, you've got a pedal board but not much space on it, are you right? Oh and it, up and down. Oh clever. These are, yeah, these are right. awesome. Look at that. So I love that. But remember these are optional extras. So yeah. um, this is, this is I'll so put clever. a link below for where yes. you can find out more about these. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick loop here. I have got I've set up the clean sound or a dirty no, sound. Check this out. So I've set up that that's now sweeping, sweeping, swapping between clean and. So I made the sound. Yeah. With Matt, of course, but show me how to do it. I mean, that's a great drive sound, you know. So that that's cool. And then I've got my, my looper on the other side. So I don't know. Sorry, so we've I got, keep doing so looping, it's the best thing ever, loop, 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 loop. The cool thing with the, the, the loop on this, it, it works very much like a, a simple Boss RC1 pedal, or if you've got another brand of sort of entry-level looper. Yeah. So it all works off of one button, you know, you, you, you hit it once to start recording, hit it again, <laughs> and it'll um, go into play mode, hit yeah. it again, it'll start overdubbing. You can keep overdubbing until you basically feel like you've built up your song, yeah. you know, double tapping to stop it, and then pressing and holding to, yeah, delete, to delete stuff. So it's, I wouldn't have said the... There you go. It's probably not quite got the functionality of some of the bigger loopers, but particularly the sort of the... The stop and The fact and that you've got to, yeah, to stop and delete, yeah, it kind of triggers a, like one or two seconds of the loop again before it deletes it, so... Um, but that's not the point. The point is that you make a loop and then you just sit there noodle for hours and hours. That's the, that's the beautiful thing about I was thinking from a busking perspective, you might still want a separate loop. But I, yes, but, 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 I, but, but, I wonder if you can just, if you do a quick loop, I'm just going to try something, mm -hmm. we might cut it out, but... but. Oh yeah, you could certainly just guess it, couldn't you? I could just turn it down. Yeah, you could turn it down. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So that's so the, little, the little, the little, um... Uh, Epic! Dual I really Cube like that. LX. Uh, now, I haven't talked about pricing. Pricing is um, today, this, so this, uh, this product launches uh, towards the end of August, and then the first shipment into Europe arrives uh, sort of mid September. Mm. Again, I'll put a link below to our website so you can dive on over and see if it's arrived into stock yet. Um, it's 
list price is 249 so 249 for this one 299 for this one okay so it's slightly on the more yeah I, I get it it's like it's more than the cube 10 it's less than the street cube it's more than a katana it's similar kind of dough to a katana 50 yeah, similar, right yeah. so you're sitting there sort of going surely you'd buy a katana 50 wouldn't you but I but it doesn't have batteries, it doesn't have the Bluetooth capabilities, this is it. it doesn't have the looper, there's lots of stuff. And it's not a there. desktop amplifier, exactly. and, and you can't it hasn't do got the, the stereo I mean, in. You can't be Britney Spears with it. You can't be Britney, well hey, that's... You that's, can be Britney Spears anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of get it, I sort of think you've got to, you know, you've got to forget the fact that the, the Katana 50 is just, you know, physically three times the size, um, and just accept that you know, this is aimed at a different kind of a player. You might have both. You might have Katana 50 for when you want to go and exactly. do your band thing. And you might and you're have a real player. A dual, uh, dual cube for when you want to go and busk or play at home or whatever. Yeah. So different kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, they last forever, you know that, man, these things. Yes, so, there you know, are, you know, in the event of a war. nuclear war, it is just cockroaches and uh, Roland cube amplifiers <laughs> that survive. <laughs> yeah, um, that's it. Right, <laughs> so the bass amp is a similar concept, but one or two different features. You can see straight away it's a slightly bigger enclosure with slightly bigger speakers. What's quite nice about the grill actually on the front of the base one is essentially that's what's in the, you know, just smaller versions of these speakers are in here, but this idea of these two stereo speakers. I like, so. I like the silver, it looks like a uh, Johnny Five, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like Wally, doesn't it? Yeah, like Wally. <laughs> but, but that was before, the, the one before was, was Johnny it? Five, wasn't it? Right. It looked like Wally. So the similarities that's on this are. are to do with it's the same power, so they're both 10 watts, although they're quite loud 10 watts. That's you know, loud 10 watts, yeah. yeah. sort of loud 10 watts. Um, so you've got this idea of different um, uh, preamp modes. Uh -huh. So we've got uh, super flat, flat, vintage, modern, and rock. Vintage is like my um, uh, current. Yes, uh, vintage uh, is like our sense of humours. Uh, <laughs> compression and drive, which you can add in um, over here. Uh, same idea of the memory locations if you want to. Same EQ. Uh, again, we've got some effects. And you got um, the looper in there as well. We've got the looper. I mean, based on we've loop got the base. Britney Spears headphone oh, thingy have? to do online. But what we've got extra now, um, and I don't know if this will sync up to the looper or whether the two are completely separate. I imagine it probably syncs up and you can loop over the top. But we have got. our own inbuilt drummer with various settings, everything from metronome, from jazz, rock, blues, r and him in the back there, because that will be my... Um... What am I going to do? Oh, I see foot switch in here. Yeah. Um, let's see if it works with the looper. This is okay. live, to a looper. untested. Looper, looper. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start the drums by pressing the start stop thing on here, and then Pete's going to start the looper <laughs> by using the pedal on the floor. This is going to be it. It's the same pedals we talked about in the previous section uh, as an optional extra. Here we go. I've got to press the start stop. Well, yeah, so, the, so the looper and the drums see? are two separate uh, things, but as you can see, you can use them together. No that was fun. It was cool. Um, I heard something good in there a minute ago when I clicked that up by mistake. I was just about to say what we've not done <laughs> is go through the different preamp modes. So let's just start that. So um, I'll put 
all the EQ flat. Flat. Um, and Iron as you can see, I've got gain and volume here. So I'm keeping the gain uh, low and I might introduce that a little bit for some mm -hmm. of the dirtier sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you what the different sort of compression and drive things do and the effects <laughs> and stuff like that. You can see to maintain, you know, the cleanest sound, you'd have the gain low and the volume high. And if you want to get a sense of like a more overdriven vintage amp, you'd turn the gain up, turn the volume down or introduce some drive from over here. It's up to you. So here we go. Super flat mode is like this. Just flat as opposed to super flat. Vintage. Modern flat. And you might, on a rock setting or on a vintage setting, elect to go with a slightly different preamp setting, so a bit more gain, you know. It's a bit musy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Or you might go vintage mode and put some drive in. I mean. <laughs> The light's off it's compression if this drive light is off it's this control is compression if it's mm -hmm. on it's drive mm -hmm. let's go pretty clean and find some effects so you might want some chorus Do you know any Bootsy Collins? We got auto wah. We got some delay. Do you know Pink Floyd? Delay on bass. It's a little not mis <coughs> not misleading is wrong but there's a tap tempo control right next to the delay but it's worth noting that uh just from the top panel the tap tempo just controls the um tempo of the drum pattern to actually get into the delay and adjust uh, the, the length you've got to do that in the app yeah. or, or you just do it off of the there's this sort of sense that the lower you turn it down the faster the delay oh, gets. you can stick this bluetooth thing into this one as well can you yeah yeah right. it's the same cool. and then finally bucket loads of reverb on bass like this so what else have we got on the back again we've got that um live streamy kind of connection to your phone SBS. we've got xlr outputs yes now on here. we have very pro uh, they're yeah. trs so they are still balanced outputs on the guitar one but they're yeah. actual full ja uh, xlrs foot switch input the the optional bluetooth thing uh, xlr um headphones work off of the britney spears <laughs> input jack thingy here so you can just put normal headphones in um can I'm you gonna, stream I've, music to it? Yes, via Bluetooth. You absolutely and jam can. along to that as well. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Two ninety nine for the bass one, two forty nine for the um, guitar one. Those are the uh, you know suggested selling prices on the on the day of launch. Uh, dive on over to the Andersons <laughs> website uh, to find out uh, you know if the, what, what's happening price wise on these. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of feel like we're done, aren't we? Yeah, I think they're great. I think it's cool. Little thing that fits in your backpack if you want to go, you know, with guitar out and do some busking somewhere. So before we go, Lee, is there anything? I mean, there's a lot of money. Well, for some maybe, but is there anything else in this category? Kind of, you know, yeah. That, that, you know, is it? I mean, that's my kind of feeling. My, my, my first impression 
with this is that you immediately go, so that's the same price as the Boss Katana yeah, yeah. 50. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't sound right to me. But then actually, Boss have always done well in this sort of premium price sort of busking type amplifier. Yeah. And when you do go through it, you go, actually, there isn't, there isn't a lot really that does what these do. The Katana Air is different. It doesn't have the looper and there's yeah. the different things. And you know, it, you know, the Yamaha THR would be a lot more expensive. Yeah. I think there's probably, I think Blackstar do something similar, but I don't think it's battery powered. It's, quite, and, it's been around for a while now. Yeah. So, so bizarrely, yeah, I kind of feel like what you have to do things, when, you're, when you're looking at um, the dual cube is don't think of it as I can only afford one guitar amplifier shall I buy this? Yeah. Because I, you know, I think, think of it as like, I need Another it to do thing. a very specific yeah, yeah. job. Yeah. You know, I need it to be small and battery powered and maybe I want to do some busking. Maybe, I, I actually, there's a little bit of me going, we didn't talk much about this stereo input, but I think there'll be a truckload of people out there with, you know, yeah, like uh, a pedal board uh, or whatever for home. Multi effects. You yeah. know, you think about all those. Uh, or pedal board, but you do it stereo out of the last pedal you have yeah. on your board. And you just want to get that slight yeah. bit more stereo on your separation. Desktop. I think some people will I think some people will go for that. I think that's a great idea. But yeah, interesting doesn't, interesting. Doesn't boss. the uh doesn't the uh jazz cube the jazz uh what's it called? The the tiny jazz one, you yeah. Yeah, has got the stereo input, doesn't it? I think it does, doesn't it? Yeah. JC twenty. JC twenty, yeah, they yeah. So that might be where they got it from. He's just such a, he knows everything about everything. Right, well, look, no, thank you very much for remember watching. Remember weird things. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, Pete's jamming. I certainly did. Uh, and yes, please tune in again. See what we're talking about tomorrow. See you next time. Uh, auf Wiedersehen. Super flat. Uh, it's like my <laughs> uh, Sorry. <laughs> right. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, no, I'm never going to get a super oh, flat. Okay. Well, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh, oh, he's off now. <laughs> okay, uh, super flat is particularly dirty. <laughs> um, and anyway, <laughs> man, milk. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs>